really happy with it. All right, emergency market, market update. Market. We have Bitcoin, of course, crashing. Ethereum down. Bitcoin just went below $60,000. I'm here behind the scenes at Killer Whales Season 2. I have action here with me as well. We've been just watching kind of all of the contestants. I can't speak on anything, but of course, we've been watching narratives just be spoken and pitched all day long, every single day, all week here out in LA. So, you know, the current state of this market, I wanted to talk to you guys really quick on this. We have pulled back now from like $72,000, $73,000. We're seeing altcoins bleed by 70, 80, 90%. And people feel like, I don't know, we're at all time highs, like not all time highs, but previous all time highs. And it feels like we're in the middle of the bear market blues. People are packing their bags, walking away. The fear and greed index is like, at an, yeah, it's at a, a 27 today down even further and so you know my perspective on these markets i just wanted to share it with you guys when in doubt always zoom out when we're looking at consolidating around 100 days because we may or may not be at the tip of this bull run. maybe it is reversing i don't know we can't predict the future but when we look at all of the analytics the on-chain metrics historical data when we consolidate at ranges like this we're generally preparing for what would be known as the next leg up and i don't know if that's going to be 80k i don't know if that's going to be 90k but I want to get your thoughts here, Action. And then, of course, I'll share mine as well with my top three picks that I'm dollar cost averaging into. I actually just bought $10,000 with another token. Honestly, in the comments below, I'm sure the audience would be able to guess what it is because uh, I'm like a maxi when it comes to this project. But I want to get your thoughts on this. How are you feeling about Bitcoin down below $60,000? Are you buying? Are you paused? Are you worried we're going to go to 45K? Well, I'm actually What's excited, next? man, because. I'm getting miners at a really cheap rate right now. Like that's where it's at for me. Like I love mining because it doesn't matter what the price of Bitcoin is, I'm still mining Bitcoin. I still get that same amount regardless of what the market's saying. Bitcoin doesn't know how much it costs. It just knows that it's Bitcoin, right? That's the way to look at it. That's how you grow in this space. So make sure that you don't take a look at the exact price at any given moment. And like you know, you just said, zoom out. Zoom out. And again, alts are my thing. I love alts. I do bring everything back to Bitcoin whenever possible, but that's, that, that's just my play. And if I'm gonna say anything to anybody else out there to like to take a look at alts, I never go into that micro market cap because it's too dangerous. I don't want anybody losing their shirts out there. So, I mean, focus on the big things like uh, Near is a great one. Um, Link is another great one. Shout out Cade, by the way. Um, it's just focus on those top ones because I, I can tell you without a shadow of a doubt, it's not over. That's, that's that's one thing that I will always say. It's not over. Um, I mean, Bitcoin's dead for like the hundredth time this season alone. <laughs> Maybe a thousand. <laughs> but we, we have Ethereum spot ETFs about to release. Yep. Gary Gensler is talking very positively. We have, of course, the presidential debate. There's rumors that Vivek Ramaswamy is going to be announced the VP. That is incredibly for, bullish for Bitcoin just in general. On-chain metrics, RSI, if you guys look at the technicals, all extremely bullish. So right now, I am personally dollar cost average again. The last time I dollar cost average was when ETH was at 3,000 and Bitcoin dropped to 57K for the first time. We bought $50,000 worth of Ethereum with you guys on stream. You guys have all the data points. You can go back and look at this. Now I am dollar cost averaging into Ondo. That was another purchase I just made as well. You guys know, I think tokenization is the future of these markets, especially with BlackRock, the Biddle program, everything. Uh, but of course, Chainlink as well with their CCIP. And then honestly, I'm starting to dip back into AI, and that is going to be Render. I don't know if you have any favorite projects. I mean, I, I like Render. They're, they're large. My biggest thing with Render, I don't think it's going to go as far as other tokens that haven't really peaked. I mean, you have really good competition for, for Render right now between Akash, um, Flux. There, there's plenty of people out there that have, that have not yet reached that kind of market cap, and I mean, they're primed for it. Like, AI is a narrative that everybody's into right now, so definitely watch out you know, for it in this space. Um, shout out Hash AI. Those guys are oh, awesome. Shit. And that was Adam. And that was Adam. And then we have Adam, the <laughs> fighter. But yes, guys, make sure you guys are just looking at these charts. It is, you know, maybe it is bloody out there. Yes. I mean, of course it is. It does not feel good. But when everybody is fear fearful, that's when you tend to want to be greedy. And again, if you can't be dollar cost average to these products right now, the idea may be to actually start just researching, create that watch list. I got to make sure I don't have, uh, you know, certain people in the framework here. You have to wait for season two to release from Killer Whales here. Uh, but seriously, guys, I don't believe this bull runs anywhere close to over. We've been hovering around whole time highs for a long time. Yes, the United States, Germany, they're selling off. But if you look historically, we tend to hover around previous all time size, cycle after cycle. And the next leg up is always the biggest. And my biggest concern is the people that were too scared to buy at 15K, 30K, 45, 50, 60, etc., are going to be now FOMOing into the top of these markets. 
when we finally go back up to 70, 75, 80 thousand dollars and miss out on the majority of the bull run. Let me know, guys, in the comments below. What are your favorite altcoins? Do you believe this crypto bull run is over? I can tell you right now, guys. Being at season two on set behind the scenes, talking with Altcoin Daily, talking with Cryptos R Us, this is just getting started, and it tends to feel like there is a ton of money about to fly back into this industry.